Hey, real quick before this video starts, uh, I want to take a second and say thank you, Mr. Bones 40 k for taking the time out of your day to like the video, watch the video, and leave in a nice comment with some tips on how to improve my content. Uh, this was recorded in Audacity, and hopefully this should get rid of the humming and stuff in the back. As well, thank you to everyone who liked and commented on my last video. It did way better than I thought. But back onto the deathcore. Uh, we are going to start in the 40th millennium, millennium in Segmentum Tempestus on the planet of Krieg, where there is one of countless civil wars going on. Uh, loyalists, non-loyalists, you know the drill. Uh, there is just endless trenches, kilometers for kilometers in each direction, just oceans of mud, oceans of bodies and viscera. It's just overall not a good time. Colonel Yurton is in charge of the Loyalist forces, and he repeatedly petitions for aid to both the uh, planet, uh, not planetary governor, sector governor, and the other administratums or where he can get his message out, and he's told, absolutely not. You are on your own. Figure it out. Uh, they try so many different tactics to conventionally win this war, and it's just not feasible. Eventually, they go underground into this long sealed bunker, and they find this dark age of technology, or cache of dark age of technology, nuclear weapons. Uh, Colonel Yurton, being the absolute Chad, decides that, yeah, now's a good time as any, and just nukes the planet. So not only do you have to deal with oceans of mud, not having any footing, now you have to deal with radiation, and all of the wonderful things that come with that. So, then Krieg is broken up into two separate battle zones. You have the fight on the surface and the fight in the underground hives. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but due to the surface, or Krieg being a death world, most of the hives are underground. So there's alley to alley fighting underground, and there is just absolute attritional warfare going on in the trenches above ground. Uh, eventually, the Loyalists win. Uh, it is an absolute slog, it takes forever, and the Administratum, or the, what is it, Astra Militarum, one of them, comes to collect their tithe, and, you know, they tell Krieger, or the Kriegers, you are way behind on your tithe, we need troops, we need regiments, and the Administratum was expecting some degree of resistance from this, uh, they were expecting Krieg to give them some sort of excuse for a lack of manpower, but what they received was 20 regiments, and they requested to be sent to the front lines of the most grueling combat zones the Imperium had. All across Tempestum Solar, or Segmentum Solar and Segmentum Tempestus, you will find the Death Corps on just about any battlefield. Uh, if you need someone to essentially run to their death with a shovel in their hand, these are your guys. They do not ask questions. They just run at the enemies. They are... Think of the Carcharodons, or the Space Shark chapter, who are just silent and they just revel in the battle. The Kriegers are the closest thing to that. They are vat-grown clone babies, essentially. We're not sure exactly who the clone is, but we're pretty sure that they're clones of Colonel Yurton. Uh, so essentially, these kids, or teenagers it doesn't exactly say how old they are when they come out of the vitae wombs but it's assumed that they come out partially developed kind of like the mechanicus uh and how they have background babies uh mechanic or belisarius call comes to mind these clones are then put through some of the most rigorous training that the imperium has to offer i'm willing to bet that only the katachan jungle fighters and the cadians get even close to the level of training that the Kriegers get. They are sent to the irradiated surface of the world and told to survive. Uh, if they survive, then the training actually starts. They then are forced into live combat drills where they do not care if you die. They are as expendable as the 80% of the Imperial Guard that is cannon fodder, or penal legions, or at least that's how they view themselves. Regimental commanders and commissars actually regularly have to stop Kriegsmen from just rushing to their death. They more than willingly will just 
throw themselves at the enemies and maybe they'll get a kill, maybe they won't, but they live for it. They are like the Astartes in the aspect that they just don't care. They're there to die, and whenever that day comes, they're ready. Um, all in all, they're probably one of my favorite factions. They are true caricatures, I guess is the way to put it. Um, there's this theme in 40k of penance, or repaying a debt to the Emperor, and nobody, or no planet really, embodies that quite like Krieg. Krieg has given up almost all of its individuality just to produce soldiers. And not just decent soldiers, some of the best soldiers. Another regiment that comes to mind when talking about this bum rush strategy um, or Soviet rush strategy, as someone commented on my last video, was the Valhallen Drop Troopers. And uh, thank you for commenting that. I don't remember your name, but I will mention them. And they're some of the fan favorites. It, I have seen so many wonderful Kriegsmen cosplays and so many wonderful Kriegsmen armies. It's just, they fit so wonderfully into the Imperial Guard. And if you can't tell, I am a huge Imperial Guard fanboy. The Kriegsmen and the Valhallens just fill this really nice niche nice niche of only infantry. True Soviet rush strategy. Um, I can't really think of any other factions in the setting aside from Orcs or Drukhari who are as much of caricatures as the Death Corps. They are very black and white. They are two-dimensional. There is swing the shovel and don't swing the shovel. That's it. They don't really care about themselves much in the way of orcs they live for a good fight um but that is going to end it for this video i am thinking about narrating the infinite and the divine if that's something you guys would want let me know in the comments and uh thank you for watching